action. Well, just just splitting some of that alder up. Here's the neighbor's log splitter again. And uh, of course, it's the same log split splitter that you see on that video I filmed last year. There's the old 94 Sears I'm pulling the log splitter with. I know it's on the code. I got to look at it again if I get this blocks out of the way so I can see. Yeah, it was made on September 3rd, 1996. So it's an 1996 MTD Yard Machines log splitter. Just in case if you've seen the other video I had of this log splitter. Alright, you might already know that, but just in case you don't know, well here it is. Yeah, it's, it, like I said on the other video, I borrowed it from a neighbor and then borrowed it again so I can split all this alder. But I'm going to quit because these, these six here are very heavy. I can barely lift them. Now I, can, I, now I can't lift them very long, hardly at all, because they're so heavy. Because I was lifting the other logs that are already split now. So, yeah, figure I'd make another video of the log splitter while I have it out, well, borrowed. Because I don't think I'm going to borrow it for a while. Again, until, I don't know, I get more logs or whatever. We'll see. But I figure I'd show you my pile and <laughs> the tires or fenders are almost completely buried. I can see the tire, but, oh boy, we got a mountain of split up stuff here oh yeah this side ain't that bad yep of course I had the trailer ball on there so I locked it up right onto the trailer ball and, and voila I pulled it away so there you go 1996 log splitter splitting wood and and of course being pulled by my 1994 Sears with the 1990 Briggs and Stratton motor on board. So y'all have a good day and bye bye.